I'm Chris Long with PPI. Today we're going to be doing a general pulley overview. Any overview of pulleys needs to start with the drum pulley. It's the most common pulley type used in conveying systems. It has continuous contact with your belt so you get a nice smooth operation at all times. It can be used in either drive or non-drive locations. The parts of the drum pulley consists of the rim or outer shell, two end discs, two hubs, two bushings, and then center discs depending on the geometry of the pulley. We build our rims in one of two different ways here at PPI. We can either do a rolled rim where we take flat pieces of plate and we'll roll them into either two half circles and join them together with two seams down each side, or we can do a one piece rolled rim and then we weld one seam down the middle. We can also build rims out of tubing or pipe. We use the tubing on some of our smaller package handling type pulleys, and we'll use very heavy wall pipe on some of our largest pulleys and turbines. Next, we're gonna talk about pulley runout, which is the change in the belt contact around the circumference of your pulley as it rotates. This can be checked with a dial indicator as we roll the pulley around 360 degrees. Limits for TIR vary from 125 thousandths of an inch, which is a SEMA standard, to 60 thousandths of an inch, which is the improved standard, or all the way down to 30 thousandths of an inch for our most demanding applications. There's certain key dimensions that must be provided to us for any pulley order. The first one we're gonna talk about is the OD, or outside diameter of the pulley. The OD usually moves in increments of two from eight to 20 inches. After 20 inches, it jumps up four inches to a 24, which is the most standard size. After that, it will move in six inch increments to 30, 36, 42, and so on. The next critical dimension of any pulley will be the face width or the length from end to end of your rim. Face widths are generally gonna be two inches wider than your belt on belting from 24 up to 42 inches in width. After 42, it's generally gonna be three to four inches wider than the belt itself. We leave this extra space for room for your belt to wander if you have any belt tracking issues. The next pulley type we're gonna be discussing is the wing pulley. It can be used as an alternative to the drum pulley in certain applications. It makes intermittent contact with your belt, providing a shaking action on the belt, which can dislodge sticky material and provide somewhere for large stones to slide through the pulley without getting caught between your belt and the rim. It's used in non-drive applications only. The parts of the wing pulley consist of the wings, hubs, gussets, contact bars, in discs are possible depending on geometry, and reinforcement rings are possible depending on customer preference. 